local story tonight. Tens of millions of dollars are at stake for student scholarships here in Illinois. And leaders in Springfield only have one more chance to bring the funding back to the table. The program is a tax credit program worth $75 million. People can make donations to create high school scholarships and then get tax credits back from the state. To be eligible, there are income requirements which say families have to make no more than three times over the federal poverty level and the scholarship can't take them over four times the poverty level. In the state's budget passed earlier this year, the Invest in Kids Act funding was cut out completely. As this pivotal decision comes closer, let's dig deeper into how this program is having a major impact in our region. Now, outside of Cook County, our state line area makes up the largest use of these tax credits, more than double any of the other regions throughout the state. More than 20% of the tax credits are spent in our five county area, which is region two on this screen. It also includes Carroll, DeKalb, Joe Davies, and McHenry counties, amongst a few others. And lawmakers were in Springfield this week for one of the last times this year, and this is one of the big talking points people definitely care about. Yeah, a lot of our representatives telling me throughout the day, I got a chance to check in with a few of them who give us an idea where this critical funding stands with just a few days left to get it back in the budget. A child's outcome shouldn't be dictated by their zip code, and we have to empower parents to make the best decision for their children. State Senator Andrew Chesney echoes a call made by the vast majority of Republicans in Illinois when it comes to the investing kids funding. But there's also support from our area on the other side of the aisle. It is really giving people the chance at a different school uh, environment than they're, you know, they're more sick to. And, you know, everybody's school experience is different. Some kids need private, some kids need public, some kids can do good both. But the idea is to give as many options as possible. But if there's so much support here, why is there some pushback in Springfield? Representative Dave Vela says lawmakers from other areas see people trying to abuse these tax incentives. I think there are some people who, who are upset because some of the more affluent areas with very affluent private schools are using it. Uh, and basically using tax money to help rich kids, you know, go to, go to uh, private school cheaper. Senator Chesney has a more scathing opinion, pointing the finger at Democrats for jeopardizing the funding. The contention and the disagreement is not in our caucuses, it's in the Democrat majority caucus, and it's largely because of the interest groups that are outside the dome that are putting a lot of pressure on them to kill the programs. And Though both Chesney and Vela support it, both have different outlooks when it comes to the future of extending this funding going forward. There's going to be a deal that gets done. I don't know if it's a deal that the Republicans are going to love, but it's going to be the deal that we're going to probably support. I don't know. To tell you the truth, I think there's still negotiations going on. Meanwhile, schools and students will have to wait until next month when lawmakers are back in session to find out whether or not the book is closed on these scholarships. And tomorrow I'll be talking to one of the schools in the state line that relies on this funding to give private education to people in our community who couldn't normally afford that. Catch that story tomorrow at 6 and 10.